In this video, we're gonna talk about cooling systems. And more specifically, we're gonna talk about how do you pressure test one? Pressure testing a cooling system allows us to mimic normal operation where most systems are gonna operate at about 15 to 16 PSI when they're hot with the engine running. And so with this tool, we can put pressure in that system, check for leaks, verify a repair that we did, and do that on our own time. Whether we want the engine hot or we want the engine cold, it's a good test that we're able to carry out. So first I wanna get the cap off so I can match it up to my test kit. And so to do this, always make sure that you don't have any pressure. If I just pop this off with a hot engine under pressure, I'm gonna have a geyser of coolant. And so I want to take it loose and rock it, and that'll ensure that I bleed off pressure. I can also do that with a rag on top. This one is cold and not under pressure, and so pretty easy for me to take off. So here we've got a lot of different test kits. This is a really basic snap-on cooling system pressure test kit that's got several adapters. You know, we could work on one with an expansion tank or different varieties of radiator caps. Similar kind of kit here, and then this master cool kit just takes it further where I've even got this airlift tool and a wider selection of caps that help me fit different expansion tank type setups. So we're gonna work with this one here. And so I'm gonna take my cap and I'm gonna look for really the basic outline and shape helps me get pretty close. Um, but then I've gotta look for the distance um, and seal surface in the center, as well as the retaining tabs on the outside. So see, these are the same relative shape. And so they also match that internal size and we need that internal size of this outer disc and this outer disc to be pretty close. So I'm gonna fit my adapter just like I would the radiator cap. Always kind of tug and check, make sure that it is on there all the way. Connect my pressure tester. And now I've just got to pump up and add pressure to the system. So this one is just a hand pump. And so I want to carry that up to right at whatever the pressure rating of my cap is. And often we'll go about one PSI past that. Uh, we expect a slight change initially, just as rubber hoses in the system are going to swell and it's gonna drop the pressure just slightly. So I've got this set to about 15 PSI. And so now I could go about checking for leaks. There's two things I can do. One is I can leave this for a period of time and see what the decrease in pressure is. You know, does the pressure escape? Um, I've got to be confident that my tool is okay and I don't have any leaks on my tool in that process as well. I can also pressurize this and if I think I had a leak and if it was a gross leak, it should be evident pretty quickly and I could go look for, you know, a trace of coolant, bubbles, right? Some sign of that air and pressure or coolant as a liquid getting out of the system. When I'm all done with my test, there's a air bleed valve here. So I can bleed that off, that's gonna lower my pressure. Again, just like before, I want to make sure pressure is gone before I take this cap off. Once I got all that off, it's always a great idea to go rinse this with water so I'm not putting it back in coolant filled and slimy in the toolkit. So here we're going to repeat the process on this one. This has got an expansion tank. And this one is a good candidate for us because it's got some signs of coolant tracing there around the expansion tank. We've also got some wetness and evidence of a leak here. And so we're gonna pressure test it and get a chance to look and see how a real leak appears. So same basic setup, I wanna bleed this slowly, make sure I let off any pressure. I've matched up my adapter for this particular expansion tank. Again, I'm looking at the sealing surface for these O-rings that go down in the center. And also this one is externally threaded. They're on the outside, so I've got those matched up. that tight and we'll get some pressure into it. All right, so we've got this set to 15 PSI. So now I can go through and conduct my inspection and start with a visual. I'm gonna look for things like the plastic expansion tank, hoses. We saw the corner of this radiator we were concerned about. We'll take a closer look at that. A lot of vehicles with plastic cooling system parts, these are common points of failure. So we got a closer look here. We took this upper fan shroud off so I could see this whole hose. We know this is our kind of problem area and we can see the seepage. 
and just with a little bit of flexing that we've got a leak at this corner. And so if you had a really consistent leak, it would look like this where I've got air, liquid, or a combination of the two coming out. And so then I would go about looking at a parts diagram and figuring out, you know, is this upper piece something that's serviceable? Is it part of the end tank so that I could get that repaired?